Hello, welcome to the first episode of the UH Racing Show. My name is Seb Scott. We're here in the Forum Hertfordshire where in July 2014, UH Racing unveiled its Class 1 entrant, the UH17. Throughout the rest of the year, the UH Racing Show will be bringing you up-to-date progress and development reports on UH Racing and eventually leading you up to the Road to Silverstone where the Formula Student UK event will take place. But first, before we get to any of that, I'd like to introduce to you what I feel was an absolute privilege to be a part of, in which Sky Sports F1's lead commentator, David Croft, came to visit UH Racing to talk about Formula One, but more importantly, talk about his home county's race team, UH Racing and Formula Student. I really do hope you enjoy this, and if you could please subscribe to the channel afterwards, I would be very grateful. Thank you very much. Welcome to another episode of the UH Racing Show. Today, I'm with a Formula One personality. He goes round every season to every single race and uh, makes the Grand Prix entertaining if he's lulling a bit over the weekend. It's not Lewis Hamilton, but he is from Halford. It's Mr. David Croft. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming along. Absolute pleasure. When you say personality, you mean I shout a lot and you've heard of me? Um, yes. yes. We hear a lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, well, me personally, I stick around afterwards and do the whole hashtag Ask Croft thing. Good um, man. Without, I, I, without I, you, no one would, would be tweeting away. So thank you very much for everything this year. Thank you so much. Oh, pleasure. And well, first of all, actually, thank you for the season. It's been brilliant. Uh, what have you made of it all? Yeah, it's been, it's been quite fun this year, to be honest. It's, uh, it's quite nice at this time of year to take, take stock. I, I'm, I get a little bit... Get a little bit peeved off when people tweet me and say it's been really boring, hasn't it? What a, what a dreadful season! And I'm thinking, no. Which bits were you asleep for that, that, that you missed? And I think yes, we, we've had a lack of sound, and some people have, have hated that. We've had one team dominate, and some people obviously haven't liked that at all, and that's fair. But but within that, we've had two drivers yeah. going all the way to the wire uh, to win the world title. We've had wheel to wheel racing throughout the grid. We've had. Plenty of stories to keep us all, uh, all focused. I mean, who'd have thought we'd go to Japan and we end up on, on the Saturday morning with Sebastian Vettel having left Red Bull to join Ferrari. That I mean, moment, I remember me and my dad were saying, McLaren are going to announce, uh, announce Alonso any minute. <laughs> and I think it was five o'clock in the morning, I rang my dad and I was just like, you'll never guess what, Vettel's just signed yeah. for Ferrari. Well, we kind of thought it was going to happen one day. Because Seb never really denied that he wanted to go to Ferrari, and Ferrari didn't really deny that they wanted Seb. Were we expecting it in Japan on that Saturday morning? No. Uh, was Christian Horner expecting it the night before? Uh, no. no. He said, I was talking to Martin Brundle, and he said, it's really weird. He said, I was having a drink with Christian last night and, uh, in the hotel they were staying in. And he said, uh, he said oh, sorry, I've got to go. And we, obviously he's got you know call from back home or whatever. Uh, and it was Seb saying, you've got to come to my room now. And it was about 10 o'clock on the Friday night where, where Seb actually had the conversation. So that was just, that to me is just one of the many stories that make Formula One brilliant. That, that here we are, we love the racing, we love what's going on on track most of the time, but it's the, it's the soap opera that goes with yeah. it that just keeps us all involved and keeps us all on, t on our toes and, uh, and excited about the sport, even when there's nothing happening on track. I think the drama's been there this year. Yeah, very it's, much so. It For good and bad Oscar. reasons It, it as could well. win an Oscar, in my opinion. It's been that brilliant.